Well, it is that time of year. Time to start pulling out some of the hot rods here. Uh, just gave her a quick wash just to wash some of the dust and junk off it. Still got to clean up the interior. Although it's kind of pointless because the dirt roads, everything just fills up with dirt anyways. But the uh, this is uh, my 50 Buick. Uh, I don't know how long I've had this car, like forever. And this was the period of my life where I was doing a really crappy job documenting it. But uh, at the end of the video, I'll throw up whatever pictures I had while I was building it. The uh, But the car is a 50 Buick. It used to be yard art way back there. I don't have a clue how long I've actually owned the car. Uh, I built it, I think, two years ago. Did it over a winter. It's sitting on a, like a Caprice chassis to which I bagged. And uh, yeah, it's kind of kind of up in the air right now. Let's set her down. There we go. We gotta add to the cool factor. So, when it came down to paint, my original thought for this car was gonna be like glossy black and like perfect body. And uh, the reality of it is I don't enjoy those cars. <laughs> I've had one or two like that and I found I just never actually drove it or I didn't enjoy driving it so because I'm really hard on stuff and I'm not very good at taking care of fixing all that stuff so like the upkeep with the paint was crazy. This one I like I can just hose off and call it a day. But anyway so I opted, I did the bodywork, I did the, uh, I shot it in just a flat black or satin black maybe, I don't know what it is, it's nothing special and then uh, I had a friend of mine and uh, came out and uh, masked off all the flames. So uh, he, uh, he masked them all out. I helped him tape it all up. He shot the, the flames for me and uh, did the lace as well. So that was a big, a big help. Kind of got what I wanted out of it. I dig it. It's different. I don't know. Nothing fancy. Well, I guess it's fancy. <laughs> Anyways, if anybody's local and they're looking for some paint work, there you go. Hit up this feller. A Von Knob. So anyways, it's on a Caprice chassis. I completely redid the floors in the car. Uh, as you can see, bagged all around. It's... Uh, Oh yeah, well the interior in this one was, it's all T-Bird. Well, I ran the T-Bird consoles, buckets, and the rear seat. Anything that's upholstered, which is like door panels and kick panels, all that, that's, I did all that stuff, which I think has turned out okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Still have to do a headliner and some other stuff, but eh, it was just more of a, semi driver slash kind of a hot rod um, so the car body wise there's no real mods other than the chop I think I did a a three inch chop I've seen Barris did one and I think it was a four inch chop and it was it looked too too much this window kind of pointed down at things and I didn't like that but anyways I did a pretty sure it was a three inch chop I sectioned the trunk lid so this thing's all pancaked down you can still kind of see because I haven't made a filler for it yet, but you can see where it's overlapped. Again, at the end of the video, I'll show you some pictures of when I was doing it. So, yeah, we got our air ride back there. This is the the life I live in. I'm down all these dirt roads always, so everything's always dusty, dirty. There's not much you can do about it. But the uh, car, she's powered by... Uh, Six liter with an ADE. Uh, let me just get this hood open and I'll explain that to you. So under the hood, we got a lot happening here. <laughs> uh, but we got a six liter. Uh, there's an ADE. It's got a shift kit, stall converter. Um, we got a turbo on here, which is a 78, 75. Uh, just some no name thing. 
the cam is, uh, am I saying it right? A uh, Eugene, Eugene, whatever. I have the 1138, or is it the 39? I can't remember. One of those cams, and then basically the sloppy stage two cam. The uh, the injectors are just decaps, so they're just stock injectors with the bottoms ground off them, flowed, and uh, it's pretty much it. It's pretty much the setup. Uh, I kind of hobbled some AC in it, and it sort of works, so I'm still working on that. But uh, yeah, that's what's going on here. I've had a few variations of this, only because I'm uh, not great at tuning, <laughs> so had some problems with it. I think this is the third motor in the car now. Along with I don't know how many diffs I put in it. Right now it's kind of lame. She's a one-legger. Uh, but I'm kind of slowly working to uh, stab in another diff. Got another 10 bolt over there that I'm putting together. I should put something better in it but I have a bunch of 10 bolts so and posies and whatever else. This time around I think I got the right gear combo that I want. I think I'm gonna I'm putting in 373s so the car probably would like higher gears yet, but higher, taller, which way would that be? Like four tens or something would probably be a better combo, even with the uh, the overdrive and stuff. But yeah, it's pretty much the package here. I mean, she boogies pretty good, but uh, I probably should have put a bigger stall in it. I think I only have like a 2800 stall or something like that. I didn't realize how heavy the car was, so. I basically just wanted to build it to do funny car burnouts while I was kind of driving around, but she don't uh, she don't do that. She actually feels really quick, which I don't know wasn't really what I was going for. But that could be changed. Problem is, those stall converters for those ADEs are so expensive that cost more than the the powertrain in there. At least up here, they're expensive as heck. But anyways, I guess we'll go. Uh, Take her for a little burn and uh, call her at that. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, enjoy all the the little build montage of any photos and stuff I had. All right. Most of the vitals all work, but I chose just to run my engine cooling, RPM, all that jazz, all off that little doodad. That's my air fuel, and then there's your boost. So it's a good driver. I ran the AC in. It works okay, not the greatest. Still working on that, but she still needs a whole lot of finishing. Still needs to figure out a headliner. I kind of started that top panel, but. Uh, at least all the seats and all that stuff are in are good. Anyways, I'm gonna go poke over to a buddy of mine, see if he's up for a little cruise. And see if I can not break this thing again. <laughs> like my car's extra low.